Hello friends, in this video, we will learn about applications of differential equations, like how some differential equations are useful in our practical life, in our daily life uses. And here I'm providing you a four important aspect of applications of derivative. Well, let's start from the very first part of applications of derivative that is a rate of change. What is the meaning of rate of change and how that derivative is useful in this aspect? So my dear friends, here I'm just talking rate of change means what? If you have some commodity and their rates are increasing or decreasing, so by the application of derivative, by the help of differentiation, we can easily calculate their changes, their average changes. Okay, here I'm giving you a complete example like you can see in the graph, here the graph is showing to you that there is a tough changes in there like you have a function that this is the distance okay, and it is a time. So with respect to time you can see the distance having the change okay, so it means we have some speed so the rate of change means what? if you have some time that is one so it at that time your distance is covering like that and after that if you have time that is two so you can see the what is the change so by this thing yeah i just apply here that del y by del x it means just it is a derivative approach like dy by dx so the change in y with respect to x if you're going to write out the change in y dy by dx so it is showing to you that the change in y with respect to x it is known as a rate of change so actual meaning of derivative is also known as a rate of change that is simple it could be in the price factors it could be in the fuel factor it could be in the speed and uh, distance time so temperature any quantity we can take in order to find the rate of change okay i hope so that here i'm just giving you a first of all a brief introduction about the application of derivative and this is the first part of a derivative of applications and that is a rate of change so i hope so that that you understand the rate of change indicator which is also referred to as a simply momentum it's a pure momentum oscillator that measures the percentage change in price from the period to the next or you can say that the rate of change calculation compares the current price with the price and the period ago it means what is right current change or if you have some period you have some specified period and you want to find out some change in that period so you can just apply the derivative so here uh, after that i will give you a methodology complete methodology that how uh, the derivative can apply to find out some change in the rate okay so i hope that you understand what is the rate of change and how the derivative is known as rate of change as part so this was the first part and the second approach you have that is known as a velocity and acceleration here I just told you that I will give you a complete four respect for the applications of differential equations and the second one is velocity and acceleration. So my dear friends you know what is the velocity. Velocity is just related to speed and acceleration is just related to velocity. So if you are going to find out some velocity it means you have to find out some derivative because it is also a major part of rate of change. Okay so velocity is what? It alludes to the speed of the subject in the given direction you have some direction so you can find out velocity with respect to the speed so velocity is equal to displacement like if if you are going with your car okay with the proper speed so according to the time according to time what is your speed so you got some displacement like in two minutes you cover one kilometer or a half kilometer so that is your speed that is your velocity actually okay but in the case of velocity you have proper direction also but acceleration is what acceleration is direct implies to the velocity so implies to any changes in the velocity of object with respect to time is known as acceleration so average acceleration is change in velocity it means the change in speed is what that is velocity and the change in velocity is what that is acceleration if you are moving with the 60 km per hour speed so you can say that is a velocity and after some period your speed is increased from 60 to 70 or 70 60 to 80 whatever so you can say that the change in your proper velocity velocity was 60 km and now you are changing that velocity up to 80 km so it means you are reaching up to acceleration so 
by the application of derivative we can find out velocity we can find out acceleration easily and i will give you a complete methodology about velocity and acceleration first of all just try to understand the frame at which we are going to try to find out okay third aspect is what third aspect my dear friends that is turning point turning point means what that where the sum function is give you maximum value where the function will gives you minimum value where are the saddle point okay stationary point so by the value functions we can find out some turning points and in order to find out turning points we again need the approach of derivative so maxima and minima we have calculate with the help of derivative so where the point gives you maximum minimum stationary point local minima max all these things we will discuss but with the help of derivative whatever i will just approach to the first derivative whatever i will just go to the second derivative that is the methodology but here we are just considering that the turning point also are able to find out with the help of derivative getting my point and what is the fourth part so my dear friends the fourth part is what fourth part is a tangent and normals so it means we can easily calculate the tangent as well as the normal with the help of derivative and in order to find out tangent and normals we need to calculate the slope and slope always gives by derivative okay so what are the tangent and normals i hope those are the students they are very much understanding about the tangent and normals so if this line this line is a touch to the any curve at a single point listen to me tangent is a only touch a single point to the curve outer side so that line is known as tangent and if you are drawing the another line that is perpendicular to tangent it is known as a normal okay so here you can see the red line is known as tangent and the green line is known as normal okay normal can pass from that figure from that curve but tangent only can touch that curve it is could not be cross because it is having only one touch point with the curve it is known as tangent so my dear friends if we are going to find out the equation of tangent we're going to find out slope of tangent slope of normal equation of normals relation between tangent and normal so it means we need the derivative so with the help of derivative i will give you a complete aspect of normal and tangent also so the point is that here i'm gonna give you the four aspect the first is what first was the rate of change so these four aspect we are gonna discuss the rate of change here you can apply the application of derivative in order to find out rate of change how we can find out i will give you a methodology but first of all we need to know that uh, which kind of things we are going to discuss the rate of change as well as we will find out some velocity as well as acceleration okay and the third one we will find out the turning point turning point is also known as maxima minima Lots of students they are familiar with the word maxima and minima, so I'm gonna write out maxima minima. Also, you can say the turning point. And the fourth one we will discuss how we can find out some tangent and normal. So these are the applications of derivative, applications of differential equations. Okay, so this was our brief introduction about application of derivative and in the next videos we will learn the first thing that of how the rate of change can be calculated by the help of derivative as well as velocity as well as maxima minima and tangent and normal so thank you so much for watching this